Hola y bienvenido a mi canal. A mí me llamo El Conquistador y estoy aquí para hablar de los ancestros. As you can see, I'm dressed as Walter Mercado. Happy All Hallows Eve and Happy Halloween to all of you. Y yo no puedo hablar mucho del idioma de Walter Mercado, pero a mí me espero que yo puedo chill him in. Yes. One moment. I need to sip of the nectar. So I'm here to talk about the ancestors and the importance, la impotencia of the ancestor before the Orisha. Now, we know something called of an Ibae. Ibae la no. But let me tell you, I personally believe it to be important to memorize all the names and that it's not just for the Lagma Lagmas. As you can see here, I have my table. One moment. Seems I have a wardrobe malfunction. Where was I? The ancestors. Now when we mention the names in the Ibae, I've been told that it's only for the super duper elders to memorize 20 plus people, 40 plus people. And now I know that Egun and Titi more, you know, two different things. You're not mentioning Mama Francisca, you're not mentioning Yindu. But I just figured it would make a dope backdrop. So, me personally, I've tried to memorize 20 plus people. A lot of people have like five people on the Ibai list. I try to have 20. Now I just sound Mexican. And that's not the right accent. Forgive me, Halloweeners. Um, people that are important to the Ibae. Nyabelen Gonzalez, Apoto, Chun Laibo, Luisa Celestra, Uchumi, Wa, Nya Rosalia, Gramosa, Abreu, Ochoa, Iguaricondo, Mama Monserrate, Gonzalez, Chango, Batero, Octavio Sama, Obadi Meji, Fermina Gome, Ocha B, Kema, 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 yeah, there's like 50 others, but I'm here to tell you to try, if you can, go out of your way to memorize these names, okay? Because it's on their shoulders that we stand on. I don't know how to say that in Spanish, but if I could, I would. Um, get my, get my, this is really off the cuff. I didn't plan on doing this, but who plans on anything? Who plans on anything? Um, try to memorize the names of your lineage. To know one's lineage is to know one's self. To know your, your religious self, your spiritual self. Because whether we're talking about Egun that were initiated in Ocha, or Egun that we got on our, on our table, on our boila, um, those people, are super duper important. And I would encourage any and all of you to memorize as many as you can, not just the people that you knew in life, but before uh, before people from the 80s, like the house where I come from, where I was born, I would say. Their lineage begins with the woman that died in the 80s, named Asunta. Shout out to the house that I come from, crowned by Onilale in Philly. Shout out to all my Phillies. But who crowned her? And who, who crowned her? And who crowned him and her? I think that's super duper important. Um, like I said, to know one's lineage is a part of knowing one's spiritual self. Uh, tomorrow is Dia de los Muertos. So I think of Coco, and I wasn't the only one in the theater crying. I cried like a bitch. Um, so in there, there's a concept 
of of there's there's two deaths the death of when you take your last breath and then the death the second death the final death when someone utters your name aloud for the last time and for that that's why I think it's super important for every santero and even just within your lineage or you know just epidemo saying the names of your deceased grandmothers and grandfathers and great grandmothers and great grandfathers and if you don't know the name then what I personally do because I don't know the name of everyone I say la linea de Santiago la linea Alvarez la linea Torres la linea Lora so even though I don't know the name of my uh, grandmother Daisy Lora um, I never met her she died way before I was ever born I know her name is Daisy Lora I don't know her mother's name I don't know her father's name um, so what I personally say is you know um, I dedicate these prayers when I'm at my boda. I'm not talking about Bocha now. Don't get it twisted. I'm not a Sanko Joe. Um, that I say, you know, God God bless you when I dedicate these prayers. It's our Father, it's Hail Mary, to Daisy Lora, among, you know, my other ancestors. But I say to Daisy Lora eh, y, y la línea de Lora. I don't know who, you know, meant the father or the mother was a different lineage or whatever. But, you know, for me personally, you know, my father's Rivera, my mother's Santiago and Alvarez. And so I say, la linea, la linea Torres, la linea Santiago, la linea Lora, or Daisy Lora. And just remembering, trying your best to at least remember the last name and the lineage that you come from, be it Ocha or be it just in your biological life. Um, and that's it. That's today's message for all of you. Son of a bitch! Where was I? Happy Halloween. And um, I hope y'all got a laugh at my expense. I was going for the Walter Mercado look and I realized I just, I look like uh, someone mounted with an Aisa. Um, so it wasn't what I was going for going for but I don't feel like doing this 50 times and having to edit this a million times uh, But on the real let me know what y'all think about the idea of taking the time to memorize your your Ocha lineage like the 20 plus people um, You know and beyond you know the, the, the first house I was like when I got my Warriors first house where I got my Warriors They had a list of like 40 plus people house. I was born in they got a list of five um I'm not gonna say you know who's right or wrong. You know, that's not my place. Every house is things different. For me personally, I try to go out of my way to memorize as many names as I can. At least the the direct lineage that I come from, um, and the founders, the pioneers of the tradition, and then others that that influence me. Um, you know, like you know, be it their books and their ibaye or whatever. Um, but yeah. That's today's message. I want to do something fun and different. Happy Halloween to everybody. I ain't go out. I work today. And uh, after I upload this video, I'm just gonna go back to sleep because I got work, okay? So, and mucho, mucho, mucho amor.